Let's talk about 10 bedroom design mistakes to avoid and what to do instead to create a restful, cozy, and serene sanctuary. Hi everyone, it's Liz. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm, where we talk about interior design and ways to make the most of our homes to create happiness, health, and well-being. If there's a room that affects our health and well-being more than any other, it has to be the bedroom. We spend many hours in there rejuvenating our bodies so that we can make the most of our waking hours. The goal in designing the space is to create a relaxing atmosphere that allows us to rest, renew, and recharge. But there are some design mistakes that interfere with that goal. So let's take a look at 10 and what we can do instead to create a relaxing retreat. Before we jump in, if you like this type of content and you find it helpful, please give the video a like and please share your thoughts in the comments. I love hearing from you and it really helps the channel grow. Now let's talk about how we can avoid those design mistakes and what we can do to create a cozy restful retreat. Nothing interferes with relaxation like a messy and cluttered room. All that chaos makes the space uninviting and reminds us of things yet to be done, which can get our minds racing and make it hard to rest. Establish a functional and inviting space by removing clutter, including visual clutter, and establishing a serene and restful atmosphere. Keeping it simple will create a functional and stress-free environment that supports comfort and well-being for a rejuvenating nightly rest. Layer the things you need and love thoughtfully and intentionally so that the space looks and feels cozy, but not overstuffed. Bright colors of any hue, but especially red, orange, and yellow can lead to visual overload and create a room that's overly stimulating. Set a restful tone for your bedroom with lighter dark neutrals or soothing muted tones of blue and green. These colors help create a calm, comfortable, and relaxed feel for the best sleep and relaxation. Just keep in mind that light colors, those with a light reflectance value of 50 or above, will reflect light so that any light that makes its way into the room at night will be reflected a bit and make the room brighter. If you go with a darker color, one with an LRV below 50, you'll create a moodier feel and avoid reflected light. You can also go with very dark shades of black, charcoal, and navy tones to create a cozy yet dramatic feel. Too much exterior light entering our rooms at night can interfere with our sleep by making it more difficult to fall asleep, stay asleep, or sleep as deeply as we would in a dark room. Our circadian rhythms are regulated by exposure to light and darkness, and sleeping in a dark room helps to regulate these rhythms. Adding drapery shades or both will help darken the room for the best sleep and also add softness and acoustical comfort. Consider blackout curtains and shades for maximum light control. Many bedrooms have a centrally located light fixture. These fixtures can cause glare and cast unflattering shadows, especially when it's the only light fixture in the room. So what do we do with that junction box? A chandelier or pendant that coordinates with your decor is a great choice here, but choose one that provides mostly diffuse and indirect light with light sources that are shaded and light that is reflected off ceilings or walls. Opt for a warm white or amber color temperature of 2700 Kelvin or less and install a dimmer switch. Layer in several other light sources, including bedside lighting and table or floor lamps in the same color temperature. This layered approach to lighting will create a serene and calming space. Sleeping with our backs or sides of the door makes us subconsciously feel like we're vulnerable to attack. And according to Feng Shui, the ancient Chinese art of arranging spaces to achieve harmony and balance, bed placement is key for inviting the proper energy for getting a good night's sleep. The best position for the bed is across from, but not directly in front of the entry door. This will place you in the feng shui commanding position or power position so that you have a clear view of the door when you're in bed, allowing you to fully relax and get better rest. Another reason to place the bed this way is that the bed along with the wall behind it is usually the natural focal point. For rooms with hard floors, a rug under the bed adds warmth and texture and makes the room feel complete, but only if it's adequately sized and properly placed. Choose a rug in a size large enough to go completely under the bed and nightstands or about two thirds under the bed, stopping short of the nightstands and extending 24 to 28 inches or about 60 to 70 centimeters on each side of the bed in either scenario. 
Choosing an adequate size rug will help make the room feel larger as well. Matching furniture sets make selection fast and easy, but they can make a bedroom look generic and one-dimensional. Instead, look for pieces that complement each other, but offer some nuance in material, style, or era. Express your personality by incorporating items you already own, or buy vintage pieces and mix them with some new pieces. This will give the room personality and the feeling that it evolved organically. Matching bedding sets create the same situation as the matchy-matchy bedroom set. Bedding sets made with all the same colors and fabrics, even if they're different patterns, feel unoriginal. If you like a particular set, you could break it up and use it in multiple rooms, then layer in a mix of coordinating linens, pillows, and throws that complement each other but don't match exactly. This will give a layered and thoughtful look to the room and create visual interest. Too many pillows on the bed is visually overwhelming and creates an unsustainable ritual of removing and replacing pillows nightly. A good guideline is to have no more than a quarter of the length of the bed covered with pillows. This will give the room an uncluttered and layered look and assure that removing and replacing the pillows on the bed doesn't become an unpleasant chore. Not having plants in the bedroom is a missed opportunity to bring in the calming effects of nature and the health enhancing benefits plants can provide. Many plants absorb carbon dioxide and emit oxygen at night, enhancing the quality of the air as we sleep. And adding organic elements like plants creates a peaceful atmosphere with a soothing touch of nature. Please share your thoughts in the comments on the bedroom design mistakes and the tips for how to fix them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.